My name's Kenji Miyawaki. When I was with Sega AM2, I did the main character design for Shenmue and drew the illustrations for Shenhua and other characters. When I first came to Sega, there was some sort of non-disclosure agreement. So, I didn't hear anything about the actual game. At that time, I was working at a bookstore specializing in manga, dreaming of becoming a comic artist. When an acquaintance asked if I wanted to try drawing some art for a video game. I didn't know anything about the game then and asked him to tell me more. But all he said was, yeah, all I can tell you is it sounds like the game is Chinese themed. So when I actually got there, I was thrown into this place that was like the pre-game production scenario meeting with all the Sega directors and other team leaders gathered around. And I was there because they wanted someone to put some impromptu concept designs on paper for the scenarios that they were laying out. At first I thought, yeah, this job will last about a month or two. But at one of the meetings, there was this scene where the main character is traveling in Tibet with a Tibetan girl he meets there. I was asked to draw the scene, so I did it up right there. That was actually the basis for Shenhua. Well, her name wasn't Shenhua yet. But when Yu Suzuki saw it, he really took a liking to it. I got my start when he asked me then to stay on as a designer and do the character illustrations. As many fans may already know from the internet, there's a village that was deleted from the final version of Shenmue. The villagers all wore traditional Chinese folk clothing. The set was like at a Shaolin monastery, not really all masters, but everyone still learning martial arts. So they would all be on chin-up bars and doing other training exercises as part of their daily life. The village didn't really fit with the flow of the story. So the village got cut. Everyone, including myself, was really surprised about it. But Shenmu was created as a result of just such drastic revisions. Among the characters I drew, many of them were female. But I would have to say I'm especially fond of Shuing. Shuing was imagined as a master of both the Baiji Kuang and Pigua Khan fighting styles. And on top of that was this cool and beautiful figure with a commanding presence. I pretty much had that in mind from the start. By giving her almond-shaped eyes, she came out to be very proper looking. I had this clear picture in my mind of her dancing away at her forms on a moonlit night. So I made her outfit bright blue like it was reflecting the moonlight. And like that, she was from the early stages on one of the first fully formed characters.